now we go out and about with Jiminy Glick. I am so excited because I'm sitting here with an absolute living legend and a man who means so much laughter and so much joy to so many people. <laughs> Albert Brooks, say hello to Albert. How are you? Oh, it's actually Smell, but uh, it's Mel Brooks. Yeah, oh Albert. My God, well, yeah, his notes are <laughs> worthless. I don't know what to ask you now. Yeah, yeah, Albert's the other guy. And you're Mel Brooks. Mel, yes, right. Mel Brooks. Shorter, older. You were born in Brooklyn. Yeah, I was born in Brooklyn. And so you lived in poverty. Uh, my mother uh, used to. Uh, cash in milk bottles to help me go to the movies. Yeah. That's good old-fashioned poverty. Those are the kind of people that I don't tend to <laughs> yeah. want to even mingle with yeah. because I'm afraid uh, I, I, they're not bathing as much as you'd like. Did you bathe? Yeah. Well, we did in the kitchen sink. We had a, we had a little kind of a kitchen sink tub. You're often included on the list of all-time great comedians. How did that happen? <laughs> and what have you done? What did you, are, are you saying that you, for one, D d don't agree with that? Oh, or no, no, or, no, I mean, no. What, what, I just, you, what I are you saying? I mean, no, you're I putting it in a way so that oh, all no. those people who thought I was funny are, are silly and wrong, no. and, and you've, got, you've got a better take on it. No, no, that's, do you know what that's called? That's called paranoia. And it's coming, and you know what it's caused from? It's being not that clean and poor as a child. <laughs> You were a jazz drummer. Yes. I had once an infection in my outer colon, and my doctor gave me a few rim shots, and it absolutely helped me. And I think, <laughs> and I think that it can help you too, because rim shots. Yeah, rim shots. And your outer colon. Outer colon. He and gave that, me a that, few that, rim shots, <laughs> and it helped. It was an infection. It was an infection. That's what it was. That's what it was. <laughs> now let's give me a minute, will you? <laughs> okay. All right, I'm fine now. You were a stand-up comedian. I was a stand-up comedian, yes. That's a cat skill. Yes. What's a cat skill? It's cat skills are a series of mountains in just outside of New York City. What would people do in the cat skills? Well, they would eat a lot of out of, of sour cream, chopped vegetables and sour cream. Uh, and usually uh, they would they would die. They would just they would just go up to die then. No, they wouldn't die from it. Oh, I see. Because they would sing Dancing in the Dark. That was their favorite song. And they would sing it in the wrong key. They would they would start much too high. They'd be rocking on the porch as Jews are, are wont to do. I know, I want to, that's my next question. Dancing in the dark. You know that we're in trouble already. Till the two dance we won't sing in the dark. And it's soon and, and we can face the music together. And then they have a stroke. And they did be gone. Then there was a porch person, a Gentile, who would <laughs> take them away. and Just take these dead Jews away. Take, <laughs> take these dead Jews away. Oh, that's that's wonderful. well put. What scares Mel Brooks? Olive oil. Uh, there are many things that, you know, mm. uh, if I came upon them, would, would, fr would frighten would me. Michael Jackson, do you think he's cuckoo? Oh, cuckoo. no, no, I, he's, a, he's a wonderful, uh, a beautiful uh, person. Oh, so you're in business with him? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I understand it all. Right. I understand no, how it Why make enemies? Who the hell knows? Right. He's liable to run a studio one day. <laughs> Producers. Yes. Why didn't people see it? <laughs> Everybody saw it. They did. Yeah. I heard it was a big fiasco. That's well, what a friend of mine who was doing my powdering my hands said. Yeah. <laughs> You're <laughs> saying it's a hit. It's a big show on Broadway. And it was shut out of the Tonys. It must have hurt. It wasn't shut out. It won the most Tonys ever. It won 12 Tonys. But it was nominated for 14. That meant it lost two. No, no. <laughs> That's very good. Whatever you say, Mel, whatever you say, and Michael Jackson's normal. I'm going to go along with you because you're my guest. <laughs> Has show business, is it still not ready to accept someone who is Jewish? But only Jews are in show business. Really? I don't know of one Gentile that's ever in show business. What's your, what's, what's your big beef with the Nazis? <laughs> What's my big beef? Yes, it seems like you're always What's knocking. What's my big beef? Everything with the Nazis? you're always knocking the Nazis. Oh, let's. It's it's time for Mel Brooks to knock the Nazis. <laughs> it seems. 
Oh, I don't know. I think they're rude. I guess. I guess. <laughs> this has been absolutely so much fun. This is the craziest f***ing interview I've ever done in my life. That's why they call me multidimensional. Okay. Let's... Wonderful... One other question. <laughs> Where did he go? It's this man stormed up. Primetime Glick. We'll be back after this.